I'm a child of the 80s. I had hair that looked like a chia pet. Can I get an amen right there? Yes. I parted it down the middle because my nose is so small. I just, yeah, 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 show my nose. But there's some songs from my day. There's a song by Mike and the Mechanics. They may have been one hit wonders. But they, but they, but they talk about in one of their songs called The Living Years. He talks about the regret of a relationship he did or did not have with his dad. And that song moves me every time I hear it. There, there's another song, Cats in the Cradle. Silver spoon, little boy, blue in the man moon. When are you coming home, Dad? I don't know when, but we'll get together then. Every time I hear that song, it moves my heart. This morning, I'm telling you, the Lord did it. This morning, a friend of mine sent me something. And he was talking about the Beatles. You, you remember when the Beatles said, John Lennon said they were more popular than Jesus? You remember that? But there's a song that everybody's confused that Paul McCartney wrote. They thought it was about a scorned love. They thought it was about a broken romance. But it wasn't. His 47-year-old mother had a deep Irish accent. He was English. Irish was, that, that, that was uncultured. They were uneducated. She didn't, she didn't have a whole lot of going for her, really. And, and she said a word, and it embarrassed a 14-year-old Paul McCartney, and he mocked his mother. And when he mocked his mother, he said, I couldn't have known it then. But that ignorant moment with my big 14-year-old mouth was going to haunt me for the rest of my life. And when he became a man, he never told anybody about the song. He just wrote it. Yesterday, all my trouble seems so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be. There's a shadow hanging over me. Oh, yesterday came suddenly. He said, what's he talking about? 14-year-old Paul McCartney was going to watch his 47-year-old mother die. And then he's going to write these words. Why she had to go. I don't know, she wouldn't say. I said something wrong. And now I long for yesterday. I just wonder, man, are you saved? Because if you're not saved, you're going to be in hell saying, I should have done it, I should have done it, I should have done it. He said something stupid and your little silly bride won't let you say I'm sorry and you got all these messed up relationships because you're so full of pride and you know what you do you live your whole life in regret you can't change yesterday you can't change last week you can't change a year ago you can't change it but you can live in the now and you can say the right things and you can start over. Hey, I got good news for you. God's a start over God. Yeah, man. And he'll let you start over. And it starts with what you say. 